166% reinforcement rate. It's 166 units per month, per uh, unit, instead of the regular 100. And that's nice, isn't it? Alright, that's been long enough waiting on this claim. Poland may join in, but uh, you got all your cores, and frankly, let there be war. Poland, do you have any allies that I'm interested in? Yes, you have Albania. Albania, it's been great having you with us. I mean it, you've been star of the show, and for that I will reward you by placing you inside Bulgaria's care. Jake, take the Baltic for pretty borders. Sorry, pretty borders do mean quite a bit. And I no longer need uh, emphasis on Diplo, but I will keep it there, because... Uh, where will I? I mean, the Greeks do have to go. They've been here for far too long. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a little policy. Called the Cultural Enrichment Policy. And let's remove Greek scum from our lands. I can't do Crete only because it has a little bit of nationalism. Oh, a tiny bit of nationalism. It'll be gone in two years. Any other Greek scum that need to go? Nah, they know their place. It'd be quite nice to have a gothic Mare Nostrum. Or whatever it's called. Would also be rather expensive. Oh, and I can't do it to these lands. You win this time, Bulgaria. Just kidding, Bulgaria always wins. Jake, remove Maltese. Yeah, your wish is my command. safe to stick my navy up here, knowing that Portugal will save me? Mm, it's not really... It's anyone's game when it comes to the navy, so maybe it's better if I keep mine docked up. Oh, right, yeah. Scandinavians. How could I forget? Oh, well. Get to work, my vassals. Oh yeah, and I'm at war with these guys. So much war, why can't we have a bit of peace for a change? I know, I know, too few role models. Jake, what is that in London? Um, is that not the Houses of Parliament? Or some kind of castle? I don't know, I'm clearly not up to speed in these kinds of things. That looks like a stack wipe. Nothing of value lost if they were too wimpy to defeat them, and they had no place in my army. Jake, have you removed Turkish Delight from the map? Oh, they got removed a long time ago. Skandenberg trying to have another last stand, but it's not going to work. May as well put him out of his misery. I love how he still only fields 4,000 troops. Uh, 3,000 troops. At least he gets a bit of cavalry this time. What do we do with the rest of you? I think we'll have a little bit of a journey up towards the Baltics. And, uh, get those lands. Overextension is rather high, and that's something I'm going to need to see to. No. Glo 
glorious orthodox take root. You should go Scandinavians off the continent. Wouldn't that just be eliminating them? Also, thank goodness Hanover is still in progress. We can find a peaceful solution yet. Or can we find a peaceful solution yet? Ah, Marvin. Welcome back. You've actually been probably been around for a while and I didn't notice, but yeah. Hope you got your errands done. This is why I say imperialism is one hell of a drug. Just think of the uh, gains we've made in the past, I don't know, 30 years. It's rather a lot. I'm probably going to need a bit more oomph to get me into that battle before we get wiped. That's what we're talking about. Smelly, dumb, Scandinavian scum. fine, although I do want more units up here, preferably fresh units. And Albania probably take forever to fall, so let's help it out with a uh, bit of a blockade. Okay, so we do have naval encounters going on now. Frankly, the good money is, oh well, it's not even money here. The Portuguese are going to lose that. And our number of heavy ships are dwindling. Heavies just destroy transports. There is no question about it. Wow, that's a lot of war score. Yikes. Gonna need to bring uh, considerably better heavies than that next time. The Portuguese are just crying because I've laden them with all that overextension and they can't do diddly about that. Oh, not Hanover. At least the Bulgarians took the opportunity to go and uh, make their march on Scandinavian mainland. Jake, 584 viewers. Yep, and they're all insane. I wonder if I can uh, take Warsaw before she to give Moravia back. Probably not, but I'd be interested to see if it was possible. Jake, on a scale of 1 to 10, how realistic is a U4? Well, given that there are times when I uh, can't discern reality from this game, I would give it a, uh, a modest 14. Come on, Bulgaria. You are the Prussia of the Balta. Uh, gonna give up on that sentence. Kill them, is what I'm trying to say. What a pathetic display from Scandinavia. Jake, missionaries. Yes, I do have missionaries. I was waiting to get a few more of them, but if you insist. While we're at it, my diplomats are being a bit lazy, but Portugal's already in my good books. They could be in my better books, granted. sweetened the deal with my vassals. Wow, no longer over the uh, diplo limit. I can kind of mend my ties with Aquileia. How does it feel losing Estonia again? All in good jest. Do 
Jake, what is the war score to fully annex you? Uh, 1,294 with administrative efficiency and uh, diplomatic ideas. Without those, considerably more. Yeah, Albania is a real hefty province to take. Be really funny if he'd scorched his land as well. It's like the AI isn't programmed to do this, but it's done it anyway because it's Scandenberg. His left testicle could hold off ten Turks on its own. But you deserve to be in Bulgaria. I can't really do that yet, but I will. Which means you are free to go up and press the advance. Slowly and not very surely. And how are things in the high seas now? Deplorable. Oh, that's uh, not looking so good for us. At the very least, it's keeping the British off of our soil. Before someone less tolerant than me just outright bans you. Alright, so Warsaw has to go to you, but... Wow, I can eliminate you from the map. I shouldn't be able to do that, but let's do it anyway. Oh, Bohemia looks so cute there. I mean, I don't want their land. Heavens no. But at least uh, we have removed the pole. Jake, play economic terrorism. Uh, if there was any small nation left in the world, I would love to. Like Albania, for example. I would just give them 10,000 duckety doos. Should we? No, no, Scannenberg does not deserve that kind of treatment. Pretty sure that comes under cruel and unusual. Probably some kind of war crime. Ah, go figure, we've got a march here. Uh, well, Mill is. Uh, Approaching just a number of figures. That will throw you over there. Take it. Or else you know what happens. And you will not like it. Yeah, I think they've got a good chance. Dying. Alright, that allows me to... Eliminate the Scandenberg. Take your money as well. Forcing the religion on one province converts it instantly, so that'll be good for Bulgaria. Not that they're having any problems as is. And with that, we can full annex the Netherlands. Gives us 58 overextension on top of our 58 overextension. We'll only have to suffer the uh, consequences for a short while. Besides, I like to live dangerously. We'll actually core them instead of converting them. Nah, except for... Ah, you know what, never mind. We'll keep you on rebel patrol, though. Since there's no doubt going to be issues with that. And after this, we need only wait for Jelra to get inside of us, and it is mission complete. Who is the number one nation, Jake? Why isn't it me? That's a real question. I got minus 25, minus 50, and minus 25 for a lot of this.
score comparison. Portugal, France, Great Britain, and then me. No doubt because of tech. My techers are a bit crap. But hey, I get the moral victory of forcing every Greek person in the world to go and live in a <laughs> live a life of shame in Corfu, where they are laughed at by uh, Bulgarians. Jake, give Bulgaria some dosh. They deserve it. You know, I cannot disagree with that notion. There you go, Bulgaria. I don't need it. It's happening. Now you guys would be better off teaming up to make some kind of super uh, rebel destroying force. And with that, the overextension is gone. Sure, it would have been uh, wiser to wait before annexing Holland or the Netherlands, but plenty of people have wisdom. Who's got balls? Just tick the rebel removal button. I don't really trust that button. Not at all, but you know what? I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to stick them here and tell them not to scorch the earth. There we go. Automatic rebel suppression. You do have the best general Mill can afford, right? It's pretty good. Pretty good out of ten. Continue removing the scourge of the earth. Jake, how are your borders in the east and the south? Does it matter? Oh, excellent. Beyond excellent, we've got religious uh, zealots. Which we can just go. Sure. I love stronger missionary strength. It makes all this even easier. I'm going to do the harder things while we have you. The trouble with this war is it's going to take five years before we can annex. Uh, Flanders are five years since the start of it. The good news is it's already been three. Hmm, these, uh, this rebel suppression force is fairly confident that it can take out those rebs, although its front line is less than half strength. Jake, annex Jelda. Yeah, I can't begin their annexation whilst I'm at war. But uh, it will happen. No question about that. Also really liking Defender of the Faith as a uh, counter to optimism. I'm trying to think how much overextension I'd have to pay down without it. Wow! We've uh, somehow won on the naval front. I don't know how they turned it round, but they scuttled the uh, the British Navy, probably with sneak attacks like that. Yeah, you run with your tail between your legs. <laughs> They're doing a forced row to get away. <laughs> Disgusting, you removed finish, didn't you? God, I hate you. I mean, I have the finish, but uh, I'm not releasing them. What do I can force you to do? Sadly, you're going to have to give me all of this land. Because Pretty Borders demands it. 
Holstein is a nice area to uh, keep you pegged in at. But I need 100% to take this from you. Well, I'll take it. Check land on the British Isles. You ask the impossible. And I like it. Alright. Get over to Holland and don't die. Means we're going to need some troops to actually ferry over. Now these guys are sitting around just smelling their own farts, so... Make your way over there. You as well. Don't know what I ordered you to do or what I was thinking at the time, but make your way over there. Jake, that's exactly what I meant when I said push them off the continent. Well, I'm glad I could oblige. I'm not looking forward to the overextension from this, but something, something, just a number. Let's switch out for admin. Since we've done, uh, we've enacted all the cultural conversions that we need, and Jelra won't cost more than we make month on month. Needs Holstein for the achievement, right? Not anymore. They culturally enriched Holstein to become Swedish. Same with, same, ugh, same with Stad, but I don't want them having Stad, simple as. I like that Norway still exists. Just chilling out there. I also like that the Bulgarian Navy is <laughs> putting the clamps on London right now. The Bulgarian Navy. Something about that phrase doesn't make much sense, but we're rolling with it anyway. Alright, our allies are taking prime care of this, so you go down there, there's still work to be done. Naxus has been culturally enriched. The Greeks have been thrown away to Corfu. Okay, so... Hmm, the British have two techs on us. Oh, actually, just one. And it's not that good a tech. You're a bit garbage, so please uh, get over to Oldenburg. Which is where I'll put half of you as well. That gives me a 60 and a 20. You will get the greatest general known to our people. Attack. The British shall know true pain. It's pretty much the last war of the game. Might as well uh, make it count. There are no folk like those in Norfolk. Oh, this isn't going so good for me, but I have faith. Good, we got it. Now, the reason I wanted it was so that I could land directly on it, no matter the cost. Oh, he was eyeing me up, wasn't he? All right, let me give you something to eye up, you British. River crossing penalty, we'll see about that. And it looks like we don't need to be on. No, we'll keep the rebel suppression since uh, there is still quite a bit of rebellion that's going to be coming. I honestly thought that was just me popping the British there and then. But no! This is me popping the British here and now. Get off of my new island. Might as well um, blockade London. But of course, not until we get more troops over there.
you know, if you were going to land a beachhead in Britain, you probably wouldn't make it the richest and most populous area of Britain. But what do I know? Uh, I've never liked this stack. It's like an annoying little 20 stack that serves little purpose. do something go all the way where would you attack Britain from in real life probably start here and there's very little to take and a lot for them to cross if they want to come and kick you off. Then this is assuming that I'd be able to ferry resources over. Mm, that doesn't fill me with uh, confidence. Here comes the... No, that's the Scandinavian. Maybe I think I'll uh, get all cosy in Norfolk right now, thanks. London Falls in 100 days. I'll go for Yorkshire. Gotta get those supply rounds right. It's that kind of game, yeah? Alright, I can take what I want from you, but the overextension is going to be hell on high water. Perhaps I can give some land to uh, Jelra to soften the blow. Which is a shame, because I'm going to have to wait for Jelra to integrate some of this, but that is neither here nor there, because that kind of overextension is uh, horrific. Oh, that's only 94 for me, which is more manageable, but I'm still chewing through these ain't Dutch, ain't much lands, and I never even started on Holland. And I still need to do, uh, annex Flanders. You get nothing. Jake, could you show us your AE map mode? Aggressive expansion is but a pathetic number right now. No nation is strong enough to start a coalition against me. And they won't start a coalition unless they think they have, uh, they've actually got something on me. France was that something. And, uh, like 80 or 100 years ago, they beat me black and blue and forced me to relinquish some land in Germany. However, I made sure that the only land I gave up were lands that I would not lose my vassal's core on. And thanks to that, we were A-OK. -okay. Oh, nice, the Portuguese heavy fleet has returned to save my bacon. Jake, you should eco-bomb Liège since you don't need them. Yeah, we got a truce. Eco-bomb them. That's a funny one. The overextension I get from you is 16%. This is really the border that I want. Well, I can wait a bit. The four Yorkshiremen are down. Let's remake Hadrian's Wall here. I really like that term, eco-nuke. Ah, call for peace. Well, it isn't going to be pretty. Ah, we can we can handle a bit of this though. 